While people love Nigeria as a place, Nigerians are among the most hated people anywhere in the world. Sometimes the hatred comes in form of envy and jealousy, but other times the hatred are real and deep. The hate and fear for Nigerians is one of the reasons why they are sometimes treated with disdain, but this doesn't seem to affect them the majority of the time. Before we continue to state the reasons why Nigerians are hated, drop a comment suggesting why you think people from the West African nation are hated in different parts of the world. Back to our list. The first reason that Nigerians are hated is because they have a domineering spirit. Wherever they find themselves, they take control of the place and make their presence felt. They are never scared to talk in an assertive way so much that they can make those who were originally there to feel like they are the visitors. Here's one example. When Bonobo was a guest on The Daily Show with Trevor Noah, he took over the interview so much that Trevor had to give it up to him and Nigerians. It's easy for some to love this natural ability to dominate places and situations, but there are those who hate Nigerians because of it. Another thing that makes people around the world to despise Nigerians is because they adapt and survive under any situation. There are places around the world where Nigerians have dominated and have put so much fears in the hearts of locals. This is not because of anything they are doing that is wrong or because locals are scared that they soon will own their places. Here is one example, South Africa. While there are Nigerians and people of other nationalities causing problems in South Africa, just like some South Africans themselves, there are many Nigerians that are doing everything legal and still thriving. Because of fear and envy, the country tries to make things difficult for them so that they can leave. But because of how easy it is for them to adapt and survive whatever you throw at them, they are still doing well, even after the numerous xenophobic attacks. This will naturally make people hate them because they keep surviving whatever is thrown at them. For those that do not hate Nigerians because of their domineering spirit or easy to adapt to difficult situations, it is easy to hate them because they have an arrogant sense of patriotism. It is no secret that Nigeria has been falling backward in terms of development even on the African continent. But Nigerians still love their country dearly and will always speak well about it even while condemning their leaders. A Nigerian will arrogantly tell you his country is the giant of Africa even when Mauritius is the most developed country on the continent. Egypt has the strongest military forces in Africa. South Africa has a better quality of life and life expectancy, and Nigeria has one of the worst governments and poverty rates in the world. Nigerians still tell you that they are good people and a great nation. Some will envy their audacious sense of patriotism, but there are others, most especially Ghanaians and South Africans, that will be angered by this, prompting them to hate Nigerians. If the patriotism of Nigerians doesn't anger you, it is possible to hate Nigerians because they are loud. If you watch any western film where Nigerians are portrayed, the character will most likely be loud and unnecessarily jovial. That is the truth about most Nigerians. No matter how hard life is for them, they will always talk very loud and be jovial. Also, they will most likely play their songs loud, unafraid of anything in the world. This will make them seem very lousy and give a reason for one to hate them, but this doesn't bother them at all. Since they know you can only dislike their personality from a distance, once you come close to them, you will have no reason but to love them since they never fail to entertain. Some will also hate Nigerians because of the Nigerian prince. If you have not received an email from a prince from Nigeria telling you about stash money somewhere and in need of a few hundred dollars from you to clear it and then you will have millions in return, then congrats, you are one of the few to escape such. Now. The thing is that people around the world come to easily hate Nigerians because they feel Nigerians as scammers. From people like Hush Puppy to Invictus, there are many scammers in Nigeria. But there are many Nigerians who live honest lives and do not get involved in anything dishonest. Let's make it clear now that fraud is not smartness. It is outright fraud. But then, many honest Nigerians are naturally smart. In fact, an average Nigerian will boast to anyone including countries that gave birth to Albert Einstein and Socrates that Nigerians are the smartest people in the world. There is no way someone will not hate you for that. Maybe the fraudulent practices perpetrated 
by some of them is not the reason why people generalize and hate them. There are those who hate Nigerians because they are found everywhere in the world, from China to Sri Lanka and almost every country on earth where things are happening, you will find Nigerians doing more than just fine. This means that people from all around the world will always have something to say about them and their country. This may be good for some, but it doesn't help the cause of Nigerians because when everyone has a thing to say about you, most people may end up saying things that may not all be true. In the case of Nigerians, they suffer from the negative stereotypes that exist in the minds of those that have half or very little information about them. Now there are others who do not see a reason to hate Nigerians for any of the listed reasons, but they hate them for being very fanatical. In case you have not noticed or in the case that you do not know, an average Nigerian is a fanatic in whatever he believes in, and he can hog an opinion to the grave once he believes it is the truth. An average Nigerian who believes in the God can be very fanatical about his religious beliefs and hold it without letting go even when you visit with a superior argument. It's not all about religion. It also extends to other things such as tribe, politics and even football. This is why individuals are hardly voted in the country. An average Nigerian will vote based on tribe, ethnicity and political party rather than credibility. For football fanaticism, an argument ensured between a Messi fan and a Ronaldo fan, and in no time, one stabbed the other to death in 2016. This is an isolated case, but it happens. This level of fanaticism has caused a lot of hate for Nigerians, even though it is one of the things that has made a Nigeria one of the most reliable friends to have. Once they are on your side, they will swim and sink with you. So when it comes to swimming with a Nigerian, you can hardly outpace them. Now, that is one more reason why some people hate Nigerians. While their system is not good, individual Nigerians are very competitive in nature and they always give all into what they do. Nigerians are extremely hardworking and so even when people look down on them in other parts of the world, they still turn around to perform better than many. What is worse than being beaten by someone you look down on? That is why Nigerians get hated by some. There are also those who hate Nigerians for no reason, except for the mere fact that such countries have political and geographical rivalries. The hate in this aspect is mutual because Nigerians also hate such countries. The only thing to understand here is that the hate is not very strong. In fact, in some cases, it can only be considered to be friendly banters by citizens of the different countries involved. The idea that it is easy for a Nigerian man to take a woman from men of other nationalities is yet another thing that has made them a target of hate. A classical case is between Nigerian men and South African men in South Africa. The men of the country are never comfortable with their counterparts from Nigeria because of the belief that SA women would always prefer to go with the foreigners because they are better lovers who never miss an opportunity to take care of a woman and make her feel loved. The final reason why some hate Nigerians is for the mere fact that they are Nigerians and people have heard things that may be true or not about the country and its citizens. So now, what are the other reasons why you think Nigerians are hated? Let us know in the comment box. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.